Hey everybody, it's Toronto Guy here with another episode of Toronto Guy Cooks. Closer, closer than ever. Well, closer than we were last week to episode 100. Still don't know what I'm going to make. You all are no, no help at all. So, I'll just, I don't know, maybe I'll make a hot dog. But today we're not making a hot dog. Today we are making baked almond chicken with a corn succotash on the side. Succotash is a food Toronto guy? Yes it is. Suffering succotash. We're going to make those. I've never made either of these before. We're going to make them now. As you can see, I got my destructive ultra super mega ninja food processor because we're going to make the the breading for the almond chicken. Let's give that a go. We're starting with one cup of raw almonds, baby. All right. To that, we are going to add some garlic powder. Here we go. We've got some paprika. You can go on in there too. We've got some dried oregano. Get your ass in there. We got some dried thyme. There you go, have fun. And we've got the ever so popular salt to taste. Get in there, stinking salt. All right. Ooh. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pulse this. We're just gonna pulse it in our, well, not our, in my Super Ninja food processor, which means just a push of the button, zoom, zoom. We're not gonna go zoom. Just gonna pulse it. We don't wanna turn everything into a powder. We want some little chunks of almond in there. All right, cover your ears. All right, that was about seven pulses right there. Let's see how it looks. Oh, looks good. Smells even better. There's some big chunks of almond. There's some little hair. There's some little hairs. There's some little strands and sands. Looking good. Right on. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take this, put it into a little bowl, and we're gonna start with the chicken right now. Oh my God, that was quick, man. Holy moly, it was quick. So as you can see, we've got our almond mixture. Smells really good. Oh, you could probably make a snack out of this alone. Just toast all this up. It's got some garlic and bread. Oh, that's a great idea for later. Now, we got one egg. Been beaten. Beaten because it's beaten like it's stole money from us. All right, beaten the crap out of. We're gonna take our chicken hooters. I'm using two chicken hooters. I've salted each side. Now, we're just gonna go like this. There you go. Just like we're making French toast, only we're not making Francais toast. We're making almond, baked almond chicken, baby. Right on. So let's make sure we get it nice and coated. Ah, yeah. Then it's gonna have a nice little swim in our almond mixture. There we go. There we go. Soak it up, baby. Soak it on up, baby. Don't know why it's not getting all over the place. Hey, okay. let's just cover it manually if we have to. Okay. There we go, looking good. Just wanna take some with your hands if you have to and just pat it into the chicken. And hopefully the egg will keep it glued. As I said, I haven't made this before, all right? I'm following a recipe I found online. If it fails, they're gonna hear about it from the king, baby. Oh boy, they're gonna hear about it. All right, let's take our, look at this. Well, I guess we could just put some on as we put it in our tray. There we go, let it drip. Let's put it in our tray. There we go, let's add some more to the top. There we go. Our boom is gonna be good if it turns out awesome, baby. If it turns out right, it's gonna be phenomenal. Awesome. Now we got our second chicken hooter right here. Same thing. There we go. Let's take the rest of our almond mixture. Just pour it over the chicken. Ah, the egg should hopefully. Keep it attached to the chicken. Of course, when it's done baking, that's when it's gonna be interesting when you cut into it and everything just falls off. And it's gonna be a big failure. But you know what I say about cooking? If you don't fail, you, you, the, you know what I mean. You don't make a mess, you're a failure. All right, pat it on in there. That's more, that's more, even the dust. You know, if the nuts can't stay on, at least some of the dust will with the seasonings, you know what I mean? Get the seasonings in there, excellent. Smells really good. It really does, man. What an idea to just take the almonds and the garlic powder and everything else and just toast them. They have an awesome snack. All right. Okay. Now what we're gonna do. Just gonna drizzle some olive oil over the tops of it. This should help it get crispy. Maybe even help the uh, 
the almonds just conform and obey the laws of physics. There we go. And stick to it. Excellent. Where do you think you're going? Nice try. Right now, the oven has been preheating at 375. We're going to put this in. We're going to bake it about 20, 25 minutes. Let's put it in the oven. Now it's in the oven. I'm going to clean this up a bit and get to our suck attach. Yeah. All right, everything's nice and cleaned for now. Already made a mess, so we're already successful. It's now time to start our suck attach. Now, I've never made suck attach, so it better not suck. You know what I mean? We're going to start with about a tablespoon of oil. There we go. It's on medium heat. Let the oil heat up for a minute, <laughs> some seconds or so. There we go. Uh, almond chicken. You see, I imagine it looking good, but you see, I imagine also the almond chunks are going to be falling over the place. But, I mean, it all comes out as poo in the end, right? So, I mean, as long as it looks good for the initial picture, and then it's just like, have at it, you know what I mean? There we go. Alright, so, oil for our corn suck attach. Add some corn. There we go. And we're going to add some diced, fresh Ontario carrot. Lovely. We're just going to cook it up for about two minutes. Ah, that's right, man. Ooh, smell the corn. Oh, smell the corn. It smells awesome. Ah, so we're not going to be using any, the only seasonings that we're going to be using in this succotash is some salt and salted butter. The corn, you can already smell it. It's got the sweet corn, got the carrots. We're also going to throw some garlic in here, some zucchini, and some lima beans, otherwise known as uh, and, and, endame, something like that, but lima beans. I couldn't find endame, even though I know I've seen it across the street at the Asian market before. I've even bought it, but never made anything with it. I just let it freaking expire and had to throw it out, but I didn't have it this time. So I looked up, I was like, hey Google, what's the substitute for endame when I bought that? They said, lima beans, so we're going to use lima beans, all right, so deal with it. There we go. Ah, smells great, man. This is the corn. It smells freaking awesome. You know what it smells like? It smells like a movie theater popcorn, for real. Wow. And I guess this, I mean, you can use fresh corn. I mean, they had fresh corn across the street, but I'm assuming that it's imported from some loser country. Because corn isn't really in season right now as I'm making this. It's now April. Corn in Ontario doesn't get fresh until the fall. So they're like right now on like the, 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 the final batches before the new stock. So I was like, I'll just use a can, I'll just use a can. Plus they, they sell them in stocks of, in cobs of, full, of five. I only needed a cup of corn, so I just wanted the can. Bloody hell. Sue me. All right. Smells really good. Oh, seriously. Okay, now. Garlic. Fresh garlic, baby. Nice and chopped and nice and diced. Zucchini, diced, baby. There we go. Gonna cook this up for another minute. Let everything get to, oh, it really does smell like movie theater popcorn. Even better, like a sweetness to it. Awesome. And the color, of course, is awesome too. I love multicolored food. You know why? Because I'm not racist, unlike all of you. Yes, right. If all of you were making this, you'd be using white corn and white carrots and just white everything, you racist, despicable clowns. <laughs> all right. Try to break up some of these zucchini chunks, man. Break up, I dice you clowns. Bloody hell. There we go. Color is looking excellent. Very, very excellent. Ah, oh, yes. Smells phenomenal. As I've said, I've never made succotash. I don't know why they call it succotash and not just mixed vegetables. Maybe succotash is the is some country's language for mixed vegetables, but it just sounds more uh, cuisine-y to say succotash than, yeah, we're gonna make some chicken with mixed vegetables. <laughs> Whereas if you were to tell your kids, hey kids, today we're having chicken with succotash, they'd be like, oh man, that sounds awesome. What the fuck is this mixed vegetable shit? You know what I mean? Yeah. It smells excellent. Very, very good. And now we add our endame or lima bean. There we go. Saute this up for another minute. Oh, the colors are excellent. 
very uh, the brightness of the corn. Then you got the green and the zucchini, the very faint green and the lima bean and oh, and the orange and the corn. So lovely looking, if I do say so myself. Toronto guy is cooking up a storm, getting even closer to episode 100, baby. I've had a few. Uh, I've had, I've had suggestions. I've, uh, people were saying Asian, make something Asian, and then Daniel's like, make steak. <laughs> You people have no imagination. No wonder I'm the one doing the cooking and you're doing the watching. <laughs> Look at me just insulting everybody every episode. You keep watching. What's wrong with you people? You should be thumbing this shit down. <laughs> you clowns. <laughs> All right. Very good. I love the color and I love the smell. It doesn't even need seasonings, even though we're going to add some. All right, now. Half a cup of chicken broth. Get on in there. Now we're gonna cook this more. Let it cook. We want the chicken broth to reduce, to basically disappear into our suck otash. So everything will be all nicely joined in holy matrimony. As I can smell it, it smells really good. It really does, man. <laughs> it smells freaking good. Even if the, the almond chicken just turns out to be a nightmare because none of the almonds stuck to anything or stuck to the chicken. This is gonna be good. <sighs> of course, if none of the almonds stick, then just make it again and pulverize the almonds into a powder. Just like the shake and bake stuff, where you have the powder in a bag and you you you, you put you put the, the the powder in the in the in the bag it comes in, you take the chicken and you you soak it or something, or you put it in an egg, put the chicken in the bag, twist it and go <laughs> coat it. And it's like that. So yeah. But I'm going by what the picture on the recipe for the almond chicken said. And the picture looks perfection. But then again, in the internet age, people tend to be full of shit. <laughs> Especially when they post pictures. Whether it be pictures of themselves or pictures of the food that they supposedly make. <laughs> yeah, but you can see I'm making this all by myself. With no help, because I'm a big boy. All right. Let's let this reduce. Got another 14 minutes on our chicken. Excellent. I love the color. Let's let it simmer for a couple minutes, and then we'll be back in the aforementioned couple minutes. All right, it's been about five minutes. The chicken broth, I mean, you can still see some juices, but that's from the corn. The corn was, after all, canned. The chicken broth is all in the, oh, smells amazing in here. Ah, so everything's had a chance to mingle and jingle. It smells really good. Now we're gonna add, come here, a tablespoon of butter. There you go. A little salt to taste. There we go. Just mix that on up. Let the butter get all melted. And get to know everybody. And while we were on that break, I actually uh, asked my Amazon spy device, you know, what is succotash? And basically succotash is a thing made out of corn, primarily of corn, lima bean. And then after that, you can put whatever in. You can put, they said, uh, corn beef or corn beef, right? Is that corned beef? That stuff? Corned beef? Yeah, it's corned beef and a whole bunch of other stuff. Potatoes. So there we go. Succotash. Otherwise known as mixed vegetables. <laughs> All right. Oh, smells. I can't express how awesome this smells. Holy moly. All right. Oh, and the colors are just lovely. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Let me get a spoon. Let's have a little taste of our suck attach. All right. There we go. Get something, everything in there. There we go. All right, let's taste this real good, right? Let's give it a shot. Mmm. 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 Simple, but good and colorful. Right on. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to just keep it simmering. Give the carrots more time to... They had a little bit of crunch to it, which I'm fine with. But it would be cool to get them a little softer. I mean, we got still got seven minutes to go on our almond chicken, baby. So let's take this, let's put a lid on it. Yeah. There we go. Let's lower the heat just to medium low. Let it do its thing. Our chicken is still baking for another six and a half-ish minutes. And we'll be back in six and a half-ish minutes. Look at my puppet mitten glove. 
Hop it mitten glove, love, love. Singing a song about puppet mitten gloves to make sure you do all right. All right, our chicken should be done. All right, should be done. Let's check it out. All right, looks like this. Doesn't look like the picture on the recipe, does it? <laughs> then again, they rarely do because only Toronto guy is honest with all of you. Now, I'm keeping the oven turned on. Just in case, all right? Just in case. It's not cooked through. So we're gonna check, you know what I mean? So let me get a plate and some tongs. Let's take this piece go see 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 how they're not falling off that's not cool <laughs> all right uh, you can go aside real quick because I need to see so here's something you've never seen on Toronto guy that's right that's right these are my expensive knife set these are my panko knives baby all right now usually you'd let the chicken sit so it can stew in its own juices. Luckily we have another piece waiting over here. I wanna make sure this is cooked in, inside, all right? And there we go, let's see. And the almonds are coming off. And, uh, is it? No, it's not fully cooked. <laughs> Probably needs another five minutes, all right? See, not every recipe you find is legit. I followed this one to a T, and the chicken probably needs another five or so minutes. Probably should have freaking cooked it at 400 instead of 375. Ugh, didn't cut it fully off, man. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to edit for the website in three months, bloody hell. All right, so I'll try to make it look like we didn't do anything. <laughs> You see, all you people get the full edited versions, man. The people on the website who don't get to see this shit till three months later, they get an edited down version with no commentary, no nothing. So there we go. So let's try to hide the fact that the recipe lied about the cooking time and the amount of time. Let's put it back in our oven for about another five minutes. All right, now let's raise it a little. Raise it to 400. Five minutes. Six minutes, just in case. You see? That's what I'm talking about. Toronto guy doesn't fuck around. Okay? I'm not gonna be like, oh shit, let me not and let me not put that part th that you just saw. Let me edit that out and then put it in for another five minutes. And oh my god, look everybody, it's perfect! And keep the same recipe instructions and you try to make it and it fucks up. Toronto guys, the guinea pig, I'm here for you, all you clowns. Just another five minutes. Let's check on our suck attach. All right, there we go. Oh, smells excellent. So now we're just gonna keep the, let's turn the heat off. There we go. Oh, carrot should have a chance to soften. Being cooked with the lid on, very good. That's right. Now I told that story before, man, a couple years ago. I was looking for a recipe for um, some kind of dal, it was called like a, a, an Indian dish, right? No, 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 it wasn't that, it was, um, uh, what, it was, uh, maybe it was, um, I think it was, it was dal or maybe it was the, 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 the rice and peas thing. But anyway, found a video on YouTube with thousands of views, thousands of like clicks, and I'm like, okay, this must work. Followed the recipe to a T. It was undercooked. It was shit. I went back and watched the video. What did I notice? Hmm. Notice how it went from one cut to the other. It went from a red pot to a green pot. Hmm. They're fucking with us. So I'm not gonna fuck with you. If it didn't work, it didn't work. But we're gonna make it work. Damn it. For another four and a half-ish minutes. All right? Do you really want to hurt me? Just because I lied about the recipe I just wanna get attention 
Even if it means people waste their fucking money following my shit Because I fucking lied about everything and I posted online anyway Didn't correct it because I'm a lazy motherfucker That's right, fucking lazy, hurry the fuck up man Come on, come on oh, Damn it, alright, very good Not cool recipe people. Toronto guy does not fuck with anybody. He's honest, especially about my 10 inch wanger. All right, there we go. So this is what the people on the website are gonna see in three months. Oh wow, hopefully they won't see that it's been cut already. <laughs> All right, let's take that piece again. There we go, and yep. And yeah, looking good. All right, I mean, usually, well, you're supposed to keep them, just sit and let them soak in their own juices for like another three or so minutes. But you still gotta check on the inside. You don't wanna waste time and be like, okay, I checked, it's been three minutes, cut it open, fucking hell, we're gonna die. Stop swearing, all right. And as you can see, I took the succotash off because it's ready, the carrots are nice and soft enough, they taste amazing, the succotash tastes awesome. Now we're going to check out our chicken, our almond chicken. All right. There we go. So you should have just made it so they made this pulverize the almonds, you know, into a powder. So there we go. All right. It's cooked. Let's give it a taste. It definitely, definitely tastes good. It definitely fucking does. Holy shit. It's just that the recipe people they should they they said about 25 minutes to 375 no 30 minutes 375 30 minutes at least let's have another piece damn it that's good mm. Mm. oh yeah mm. 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 that is fucking great for real okay oh my god oh. God, now I'm gonna have to explain this in three months. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? The chicken's already cut and shit. Bloody hell, what the fuck is he doing? Nobody watches those videos anyway, for real. More people watch Toronto Guys version than my website version. So, thank you everybody. Thank you everybody. Let this sit for about another two minutes. While we do, let's have some corn succotash, baby. All right, give me my motherfucking succotash. Stop swearing, bloody hell, dude. I don't get it. Why I swear when I'm on Toronto guy, when I'm like on my real person, real real world Twitch, I'm just PG as hell. Yeah. Huh. Mm. Oh, mmm, God, it's good. That is freaking good. That is really, really, really good. All right, make sure we're recording. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a funny dude. All right, well, no, nobody wants them anyway. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> All right. Let's put our succotash on a plate. You know, you can go. You can also we'll stir for a second. See, the butter's all melted in, the chicken broth's all melted in. Oh, succotash, baby. Ah, oh, suck that tash, man. Suck that tash. Good, all right. There we go, nice and colorful. Awesome. Ah, uh, there, that was good. Looks good and eh, looks good. Got a lot of chicken. All right. Our chicken's been sitting long enough. I'm gonna take the untouched one, the virgin. There we go. Okay. Let's try to make nice slices of it for the picture. So I'll take this end off. There we go. These henkel knives, man, they just go right through everything. They're so good. All right. Uh, uh, oh no, don't. I don't want to have too much to explain in the fucking. Real stop swearing on the website version. <laughs> hey, we try to carefully cut it into slices or into pieces. There we go. All right. Well, you can go in my mouth. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, it's so fucking juicy, man. See, I made it. I made it proper. That's fucking good. I saved your recipe, you fucking frog. All right, you know who you are. You'd be lucky if I don't leave a comment calling you a fucking frog. Stop swearing. All right.
Now let's put it on a plate with our sucker sack. And there you have it. Alright? That's right. I saved the goddamn day. Donate money next time you see me live. Because I saved your asses. You know who you are, website people. Anyway, as usual, no justice. You're despicable, all of you. So let's take a picture and insert it right here. And there you have it, kids. Baked almond chicken with a corn succotash. I saved the chicken. As you saw, I don't mess around. I make it work, all right? I'm not gonna fraud you all like some people do. The succotash is excellent, I must say. So if you're gonna try anything from this recipe, this dish, try the succotash. Simple ingredients, simply made. Tastes freaking amazing. Episode 100 is coming soon. Keep those suggestions coming. Something Asian is not a suggestion. You know what else? You know, you know what's Asian? Noodles. So, come on. And we'll see you next time.